All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this Pyroline Chocolate Hazelnut Cream Filled Wafers. All right, price of this, uh, $8.99 normally. It was $2 off, so basically $7. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so, all right, with other natural flavors, Signature Swirl, Net weight, 35.2 ounces, or sorry, 1,000 grams, enlarged to show texture, baked in the USA. Taste bud warning, the crispy toasted wafers um, and scrumptious cream filling contained within many uh, within may cause sweet satisfaction and spontane spontaneous dancing. Sharing is encouraged. Experimentation with other pearling flavors is recommended. They have their baking company, De Buicillar, I don't know how to say that, right? The line around the cylindrical cookie is a registered trademark of DBC Corporation. Huh, interesting. I didn't know they're the only ones allowed to do that. That's kind of weird, but okay. There's the taste but warning. Okay, here you have the UPC code and the nutrition facts. 40 servings per container. Serving size is two wafers. 130 calories per serving. 6 grams fat, 8%. 3 grams saturated fat, 15%. 25 milligrams of sodium, 1%, carbs, 18 grams, 7%, 12 grams of sugar, which includes 12 grams of added sugars, 24%, 1 gram of protein, uh, 4 milligrams of calcium, not even 1%, and then 51 milligrams of potassium, 2%. Ingredients are sugar, flour, which is enriched wheat flour, niacin, uh, reduced iron, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. Then there's malted barley flour. Oh, so it's enriched flour and malted barley flour mixed then there's vegetable oil which is palm oil and highly refined peanut oil cocoa powder which is processed with alkali contains two percent or less of vanilla bean rice flour soy flour whey made from milk sugar cane molasses soy lecithin salt cornstarch and natural flavors this contains wheat soy and milk and it says may contain peanuts keep in a cool dry place so sometimes with highly refined peanut oil um if you're allergic to peanuts, you may not have an allergic reaction, and I think that's why it says may contain peanuts. Anyways, let's go ahead and peel this off or cut it or something. It looks like I can peel it out. All right, pull this lid up. Oh, and it comes in individual packs. They aren't labeled for individual retail sale, but I guess that's nice for freshness. You don't have to eat them all right away. Okay, so let's go ahead and open one up. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Let's see, can we open it this way? They sealed it too tight with the melting seal. So I guess we're going to have to tear it this way. And then go along the side here. Okay, so that's how they're packaged in there. Looks like that with the spiral. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Super crispy. Sweet. Creamy filling. Mm-hmm. Flaky, a piece of the thing flaked off. So it can be a little bit of a mess. But yeah, pretty tasty. Mm. Each tube is maybe about six or so inches long. I don't have a ruler, so yeah. And then I'm going to assume this is maybe about a centimeter or so. All right. So that's pretty much it. Not really much else to go about. Mm. I don't think there's anything at the bottom of the container. So if you want to save this tin and use it for something else. Yep. Oh, best before. This was purchased November 8th, 2023. And it's good until September 8th, 2024. Um, so basically 10 months, right? All right, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Not really much else to say about it. Go give these a try, pretty good. It's hard to describe the flavor. It doesn't quite taste like um, other hazelnut stuff I've had. But yeah, it's pretty good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.